All right, YouTube, it's seven o'clock. I'm about to do something that I probably shouldn't be doing so late. It's probably so wait till the weekend, but it's really bothering the hell out of me. And I'm not gonna have time to do it this weekend. I know I'm not. So with that being said, we're Claiborne, the truck tonight. Cause I know you saw in that last video when we was doing the fluid on the trans. Hold on, better yet, I'll show you. So when we were doing the the fluid, and even if I clean it, it sounds just like this. And the tailgate is worse. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, so we finna fix that tonight. So we'll see how that goes here in just a moment. <laughs> How long I've been under there? Oh, hey, what's up, y'all? Oh, yeah. Okay. Whew. Well, I don't know if y'all noticed, but something's missing, and it's right there. And I don't know if you guys are interested or wonder why I'm stuck underneath this hood and why that's not in here. If you like, share, subscribe, and especially if you comment, so I can get back with you guys. Man, you can find out what's going on with this project over here with a second V. See you later, guys. All right, so it's getting dark, but I'm going to make it work tonight because it's really bothering me. And I can always play it again. But uh, I'm just going to wipe it down, go to the car and just rinse it off and come back over here and then start cleaning it. That way I can just get what I can clean and then come back and knock that out. I probably have my friend come and help me. Um, Y'all remember Kendra? Probably have her come help me knock this out. Um, that way, yeah, it'll go by a little faster. I got two clays and I got some clay in the house too. So, um, yeah. So, I'll get back with y'all here shortly after I rinse this thing off and start heading to the um, car wash around the corner. So, yeah. All right. Since I washed it, or oh, got most of the dirt off. Uh, you see like that stuff there and it's like all through the bottom of it and around the corners and stuff like that um, and it's really bad on the other side so like right there like that stuff real bad so I'm about to see if I can get so like this I can buy separately but the paint I can't buy separately <laughs> so anything that's plastic I can replace myself but I'm gonna see if I can get that off with mineral oil because I was supposed to use Exol, Lysol, something like that it's a paint stripper but uh, they only have a really big thing of it and I'm not gonna buy that and not ever use it again so yeah, I'll tell you here shortly how that works here and I'll let you know well let's see if it came off yeah, I got most of it. So I'm just going to make another pass on it. And try to get the rest of this stuff off. Well, it might actually just come off. But I'm going to hit it with some more mineral oil in. And see what we can get. Alright, so it actually did a really good job. So when I get done, I'm going to show you. But I'm going to show you the worst side. So there's nothing there. And then you see all of that. All of that. And you got a little here. And you got it real bad back here. So I'm gonna see if the mineral oil will get that off and we'll go. Alright, so most of this is gone. Like I'm not worried about that right now. I really want to get this stuff off. So I got this side done and it looks nice and clean down there. good here but this is the, the hardest spot so I might have to actually get Jeff to help me with this side because like look at that it's not as bad as it was but but it's all through here so 
I might actually have to have Jeff help me out with this. Like, look at that. That's a chunk of wherever this stuff is. Like, it's not budging. So it looks a lot better. It looks a lot better than what it was, so. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna try to hit it with the clay and I'm gonna see if it comes off, but if it don't come off with clay, then I might have to have Jeff hit it with one of his cutting pads and see if we can get it off. But till then, I'll talk to y'all later about that. All right, so I'm about to show y'all what we're gonna be using. Just went and got this real fast. Uh, I just really wanna see if it works. And then also, I also went and got their ceramic wrap, a uh, wrap, wrap <laughs> wax. So Jeff said I could just do this and this will work for now. But like I said, I still really want to get his heavy clay and try to get what's over there off that door off. So, but let's see about this, what's going on with this, and then we'll go from there. All right, man, I'm going to tell y'all what. So you can see one side that I did do and the other side that I didn't. But I'm gonna let y'all hear what this sounds like. And I'm sure you can hear it through these speakers because if I, bro, it, this truck is terrible. All right, so I soaked it real good. Y'all hear that? Yeah. Look at that. Terrible. I think the hood is the worst spot than anywhere else. But yeah, let me finish doing this so this won't dry up. All right, so it is now nine something. Uh, probably almost 10 actually. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock, it's 9.52. But let me show y'all what I got to with that one spot. Look at that. So, yes, it does it still need work? Yes. But just that big piece that you can see, um, I really want to knock that part out as much as I could. And then let's go back here on the back bumper where it was bad as well. Yeah. But it's definitely for thousand percent sure I'm gonna have to clay this again to get the rest of this stuff off. But yeah it's already looking a lot better like i could just look at it and just tell that it's a lot better so i'm about to go ahead and put some of that um some of that that uh, ceramic coat stuff on ceramic wax and seal up what i did with the clay bar so i can go in the house go to sleep and eat or eat and then go to sleep <laughs> but yeah let me get done and also yeah I'm throwing this away because it's got dirt clogged in here from whatever that stuff was down there. It's all in here. So this is about to get thrown away. I still got two back here, two of those there. And I got some in the house too. So, but yeah, about to finish this up. And tomorrow when it's the sun and stuff is out so you can see the color, then I'll show y'all the final product. So. Let me finish this and I get back. Uh, well, you can't really tell what it looks like right now, but it looks shiny. So, she's all cleaned up for sure. Now, I kind of can't wait to see what it looked like in the morning. But, I'm going to sleep. So, see y'all tomorrow. What's up, guys? All right, so this is the next day. <laughs> Let me tell you, I did something wrong last night. So, I'm gonna tell you the steps. Uh, wash the truck, I always pre-wash. I always pre-wash, go to the car wash, just use soap and water, and then dry the truck off, and then, you know, I go about my business. But today, or well, yesterday, since I, I was gonna clay bar, I just, took soap and water and drove straight home while it was still kind of wet and then I started claying and then after I was done claying I went and did the um the the ceramic wax so 
in my mind the way that wax work is you know you polish compound do all that stuff and then you go behind it when you wipe all that stuff off you go back and you wax and you wipe the wax off right cool so generically that's how it works not the ceramic wax wax jeez i don't know why i can't get that out right but uh so what ended up happening was i wiped it on left it out all last night and i come outside and it looked if you ever use a bunch of soap in your water and then like you pre-wash and you go to the car wash you can see like where the soap is not, not dried but it's just in the paint but uh and then when you once you rinse it off it goes away but not in this case with that so this morning i came to the truck it looked horrible it looked like i it looked like i half ass did the job but what i ended up doing is i came to the car wash after i got off went home got a towel so basically what you're supposed to do when you apply it when the truck or car is wet you spray it on and then you wipe it off whereas i sprayed it on while it was dry and let it sit overnight type thing and when i came out i wanted to be like Ooh, ah. no that's not the case so what i ended up doing was i just came up here and i rinsed the truck off and now it looks a whole lot better look at that you can actually see myself in it because let me tell you that the way that that clay bar looked it shouldn't have looked that way but it is so much cleaner now I can actually see myself and you can actually see the flakes so yeah it's a whole lot better now I know next time when I do do it it won't look so bad like it does now but I'm really pleased that how clean I was able to get that area but you know like I said I, I don't know if I said told y'all this but I'm gonna go back once it focuses focus oh because my fingers there but once that area where I was just pointing to right there once that area uh, once this ceramic wax wear off I'm coming back hard uh, I'm probably coming with a stronger clay bar and knock that that stuff that I couldn't get off knock that out I don't know where I'm going and then you know that was one of my problem areas there but in all man the truck looks great actually so I'm actually kind of happy with how it looks now but then again I still need to go back through and really just do a really good job the next time like I literally just got all the base stuff off and uh, go back through and it should be super smooth next time around so yeah that's how you use that stuff correctly and don't play bar in the dark like I did. I mean, granted, I think I did a really good job because everywhere I hit, it was a lot smoother, which is the reason why I said I want to do it a second time. But I'm assuming whoever had this didn't take care of it because that was too messed up. But yeah, so that's going to be the end of the video. Uh, everything that I use is going to be in the link. Um, and I'll even add the link to the Meguiar's uh, ceramic wax. So you can see how it's supposed to go as to where how I did it. So like I said, everything's in the link and uh or in the description. The links are in the description. There we go. So alright y'all, peace.